This year, the 60 horsepower engine is equipped with the same quality type semi-centrifugal clutch as the 85. For 1942, the 60 has an improved crankshaft. The main bearings are longer, and the pin bearings are larger in diameter, both resulting in a sturdier, more rugged shaft, longer bearing life, and smoother engine operation. And this year, the 60 horsepower engine is on a par with the 85 for accessibility. The low grill, low wide radiator, and the mounting of the fan on the crankshaft give more room for mechanics to work. Improvements all. Changes and advances that set a new standard for the low price field. And remember, these many new improvements are in addition to the proved Ford features that have set the tempo for motor car progress in the past. Every one of these features and improvements are to be found on each distinctive body style. The deluxe four-door sedan, roomier than ever before. The deluxe two-door sedan. The deluxe coupe. The deluxe business coupe, a brand new body style this year. And the new deluxe convertible club coupe. The business coupe has a divided seat back that pivots forward to permit easy access to a big compartment for luggage or salesman samples. When this space is not used for luggage, two additional passengers can be carried on the small auxiliary seats that fold down from the sides. These seats make the business coupe a five-passenger car. The 1940 Deluxe Convertible Club Coupe has a vacuum-operated automatic top that can be raised or lowered with a movement of a knob conveniently operated from the driver's seat. This costly feature is regular equipment, not an accessory at extra cost. Another outstanding example of the Ford ability to provide high value at low price. And here are the new lower-priced Ford cars for 1940. First, the two-door sedan, the four-door sedan, the coupe with plenty of room for three big passengers, and the business coupe. Like the deluxe, this car has two small folding seats for extra passengers. Here are the cars for those prospects who demand a lot of car at a low price. They are available with either the 85 horsepower engine or with a 60 horsepower engine at a much lower price. From this brief review, you can see that in 1940, Ford again has made tremendous strides in automobile design. 22 improvements, every one of them carrying a big sales appeal. The big job now for every Ford salesman is to see to it that every prospect knows about these new improvements, as well as the time-proved features of Ford design. At announcement time, you're going to meet more people than at any other time in the year. Let's start carrying the ball on announcement day and keep it up throughout the year. Contact, demonstrate, sell the big new car with a big appeal. It's Ford for 40.